I was very active from, gosh, five years old. I think I started t-ball. Then I got into karate, cheerleading, gymnastics. But what really stuck it for me was softball. I really loved softball and thrived with it from the start. Starting at third base, I was always bending down very low, bending at the knee. In fast pitch softball, you are bending when you're up to bat, and it was a lot of constant pressure on those areas. When I was about 14 years old, I started feeling popping, cracking, clicking in my knee every time I would step. And it was more of just an annoyance more than it was a discomfort. I played with it. It didn't affect my overall life, essentially. Brittany has osteochondritis desiccans, which is really a disease of the bone that supports the cartilage. She has it in a very classic location, which is along the inner part of the knee joint, so-called the medial femoral condyle. You can see here in an MRI that she has this uh, bony fragment that really isn't attached to the rest of the bone um, of the condyle. The cartilage cap, in her case, is intact, but the bone that supports it is not. I think when I was in middle school, I was walking up the stairs in my house and I took a step with my left knee and it completely cracked. I heard the crack, I felt the crack. It was the most pain I've ever felt in my life and I was unable to walk for a long time and that essentially was when the bone in my knee broke off. That eventually led me to go to an orthopedic doctor, which I had a surgery for five years ago. So when I met Brittany, she had uh, failed a prior arthroscopic drilling. She was still having a lot of symptoms that were really barring her from being able to run. She was having symptoms while walking. And we discussed a, a lot of options. The one I opted for is called the osteochondral allograft transplantation. That's a procedure where we will take a, a piece of bone and cartilage from an organ donor. The donor had to be a young athletic female. My height, my weight, my same knee dimensions. So it was a bizarre experience to know that I had to essentially wait for this piece until it was ready and then when I get that call, I have to go right in for surgery. And when that graft came in, then we performed uh, the procedure. We were able to do it through a, a fairly small incision. Uh, we were able to excise her fragment of bone and cartilage that was loose and then we implanted in a, a, a graft from an organ donor, both bone and cartilage. On September 19th, I had my transplant surgery and I was bedridden for, I want to say, only three weeks. By Halloween, I was getting around walking with one crutch. By Thanksgiving, I was walking on two legs with essentially a normal stride. By Christmas, I was able to start jogging and by January, I was able to return back to my job so now at six months out, she's doing great. She's running, doing all the things that she wanted to do before and trying to build up her endurance to get back to the level that she was before. I am extremely normal with my active lifestyle and it, that's such an incredible thing because I didn't think that would be able to occur after six months. And really there's no restrictions on her. At, at six months, she's healed that bone in. Her x-rays look really fantastic and I'm not gonna hold her back from anything. This surgery has been a very long and difficult journey. At times I thought I wouldn't get through it, but now being so strong and able to run, it is probably the best thing that's ever happened to me. To give me this new sense of life again where I thought I had truly given up on things that a girl at 20, in her 20s should be able to do, and now I'm able to do them all. The surgery was spectacular and I've had a great successful outcome.